10 Reasons Why We Can't Find Bigfoot and Other Cryptid Species Cryptid species are animals whose existence has not been proven by science, but they have been told about in folklore and mythology. Some well-known cryptids are the Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, and the Chupacabra. These creatures have been talked about in different cultures throughout history. Even though cryptids are mentioned a lot in folklore and mythology, they are still mostly a mystery, and there are a few reasons why they are hard to find. One of the primary reasons why cryptid species are hard to find is the lack of scientific evidence for their existence. While some believe that these creatures may still exist, there is very little concrete evidence that can be used to confirm them. This makes it hard for scientists to study and find these animals properly, since their existence is still mostly a guess. Here are some of the reasons we can't find cryptid species. 1. It is possible that many cryptid species don't exist. That is why we can never prove they are out there. Even if a few cryptid species are real, most of them probably are not. No matter how hard you look, you will never find a mythical creature except in your own mind. 2. Finding undiscovered areas is difficult, as many places on Earth have already been explored. There may be cryptids living in these unknown places, but they are hard to find because they are hard to get to. Even if an area is found that is yet to be explored by humans, it can still be difficult to know if any cryptid species live there due to a lack of scientific evidence or proof. It's possible that the cryptids could go unnoticed for quite some time until more research and exploration has taken place in those regions. 3. Unfortunately, as people have moved into more parts of the world, hundreds of animal species have died out. But countless of different species existed and went extinct even before mankind arrived on the scene. Use the dinosaurs as an illustration. Since dinosaurs and early humans never lived together, no one alive today has ever seen a living dinosaur. Dinosaurs, on the other hand, are not cryptozoological creatures because we have fossils and other proof that they existed. There is proof that dinosaurs existed, but the fact that they lived and died before modern humans does suggest that there may have been other animals that are still around today. Through their skeletal remains, we continue to discover new dinosaur species. This implies that further species might still be undiscovered. We continue to constantly make new archaeological finds nowadays. Archaeologists keep finding bones of dinosaurs that haven't been named yet. This means that there is still a chance that any of the mysterious animals that have been talked about have not yet been found. It does, however, raise the question of why, if we have discovered the bones of dinosaurs that lived millions of years ago, we have not discovered any for some of the animals that have just been observed the last several decades. If we can find dinosaur bones, why can't we find Bigfoot bones? 4. Before cameras, the only way to record animals or possible cryptozoological creatures was for witnesses to write about them or draw them. This resulted in some inventive descriptions for the now recognized species. Consider the giraffe, for instance. Because they believe the giraffe to be a hybrid of a camel and a leopard, the Romans gave it the name camelopard. Because many cryptozoological creatures haven't been seen in recent years, we have to rely on descriptions from people who don't know much about modern biology. So, some of the hybrid animals that are considered cryptozoological species may have existed or do exist today, while others may have just been wrongly labeled versions of animals we already know about. For instance, the description of the Lucrota makes us think that the animal might have actually been a hyena. Without more proof, like bones or DNA, it might be hard to show that these animals were real and not just a case of mistaken identity. 5. Cryptid species, or unknown animals that could potentially exist in certain parts of the world, are often difficult to find due to their secretive activity. Herbivores and insectivores generally do not need to leave their natural areas in order to search for food sources since these can typically be found close by. Thus, when humans enter an area inhabited by a cryptid species, the animal may run away into the depths of its surroundings where it is harder for us to locate them. This makes it more difficult for researchers and scientists who are searching for evidence of such creatures as they may never have the opportunity to observe them directly. 6. Even though it was harder to make up cryptozoology events in the past, it was still possible to do so. Since the invention of Photoshop, the use of mobile phone cameras, and the development of specialized programs, it has become very easy to make fake photos and movies. Unfortunately, this implies that evidence is frequently automatically discounted as a hoax, regardless of whether it is real or phony. Many phony encounters with creatures have been reported. In 1934, Dr. Robert Wilson, an amateur photographer, took the picture of Nessie that would become the most famous one. It has a long neck that sticks out of the water and one or more bumps that stick out of the water. The Daily Mail published it under the title The Surgeon's Photo. 
hundreds of people flocked to Loch Ness in 1934 as a result of the photos, which believers and skeptics argued about for decades, giving rise to the Loch Monster legend. Unfortunately, the image that changed so many people's perspectives and thoughts was a fraud. The stepson of game hunter Marmaduke Wetherell, Christian Sperling, acknowledged taking the photograph in 1994, 60 years after the Daily Mail featured it on its main page. The massive footprints that Wetherell claimed belonged to the monster were actually the leg of a stuffed hippo. The Natural History Museum had confirmed this, and the news made Wetherell look foolish. Wetherell worked with his stepson to build a model of the monster's neck and mount it on a toy submarine in an effort to provide evidence that the monster actually did exist. Robert Wilson was chosen to provide the photo to the media because he is a wealthy doctor with ties to London and has a trusted reputation. On what he believed to be his deathbed that same year, Wilson made the decision to atone for his sins and verified the specifics of the deception. In another likely hoax, Frank Hansen claimed to have discovered the body of a Bigfoot creature in 1968 after freezing it in an ice block. He roamed the American carnivals with his beast. Frank was able to attract the interest of a number of cryptozoologists who believed the creature to be real. In the end, even the Smithsonian was eager to have a look. Frank argued that the original creature had been lost and the body in the ice was only a duplicate as he came under growing pressure to turn over the body for scientific analysis. 7. Many of the cryptids are known to inhabit remote locations that are frequently hostile to humans. Because they live in remote places, it will be hard for them to find a partner because they are alone. This would mean that there aren't very many of them left in the wild, often in the single digits. Humans once assumed that many species were extinct, only for an odd specimen or two to turn up years or even decades later. There are still human tribes that live in such seclusion that they never interact with any other tribes of people. We can't say for sure that any of these species will still be around in the future, if they even exist at all. 8. We still don't fully understand the world in which we live. In a century, what is now thought to be paranormal might be accepted science. Just take a quick look at human history to see how far we've come. In the 1600s, we burned doctors alive because they were witches. The practice of modern medicine is now regarded as a mainstream science. Just because we don't know the answer right now doesn't necessarily mean we never will. As a result, one theory for cryptozoology is that some of the creatures are supernatural beings. For example, it was said that the Baku was an animal that looked like an elephant and thrived on bad feelings. Even though we don't know of any biological organisms that can just eat emotion, this doesn't mean that there aren't any. It just means that we don't know how this creature could exist right now. Demons are mentioned frequently in the history of mankind. They reportedly also get their energy from unfavorable feelings. There must be some basis for the numerous reports of meetings with demons. Simply said, we lack the scientific tools necessary to gauge or assess the veracity of this claim at this time. Another thing that is often said about paranormal creatures is that they can appear and disappear at will. This might explain why some of the species are so elusive. If they are supernatural, it would be very hard for people to see them or predict what they would do because they can choose when to show up and when to leave. 9. The idea that some of the creatures classified as cryptozoological in nature are actually caused by time slips is another intriguing and possibly the most extreme theory. That is, these animals have traveled through time from a different period of history, only to travel backwards again and return to the present. This is supposedly one of the theories explaining the Loch Ness Monster. Numerous people contend that Nessie is really a plesiosaur. While some claim that a few plesiosaurs may still be alive in the loch 65 million years after they became extinct, others argue that if she were always around, there would be more reports of sightings. This has given rise to rumors that Nessie is truly a time-traveling plesiosaur and that there are actually multiple time pockets spread out around the lake. This would account for the frequent absences of months or even years between sightings of her. Simply put, she is back in her own time. It would also explain why there are still sightings despite the fact that there are no plesiosaurs in the lock for her to breed with. She is returning to a time before they vanished. Although this is an intriguing notion, it has not yet been proven. Since time travel is not something we know how to do yet, this theory will remain just that, I guess. 10. One of the more far-fetched ideas about cryptozoological organisms is that they may have come from other planets. Some beliefs contend that these beings could be extraterrestrial visitors. There are different ideas about whether they came to Earth and died here or whether they came here to study and then went back home. Given that aliens have not been proven, it appears implausible that we have been visited by numerous different alien races to account for all of the supposed cryptids reported throughout history. 
In conclusion, cryptid species are difficult to find due to a lack of scientific evidence, difficulty of locating undiscovered areas, and unverified sightings. Possible explanations for their existence include extinct species, hoaxes, and undiscovered species. Even though there is still a lot we don't know about cryptid species, more research may help us find out more about them in the future.